After three months of negotiations between the UN peacekeeping mission in South Sudan, UNICEF, armed groups and a national partners, 32 boys and young men are being released from the ranks of the Sudan People's Liberation Army. At a ceremony in Murma, the ex-fighters are being supported to reintegrate into society. This is a celebration of the official release of 32 boys and young men from the ranks of the Sudan People's Liberation Army in opposition, loyal to Rick Marcha. It took three months of negotiations by national and international actors. The next step now is to reunite former fighters with their families. Everyone was actually crying over the phone when we called them. Most of them, they, they told us that they were not sh certain to, to see their children again. So there were lots of emotions and, and definitely they are, they are, they are waiting for them to go back. After spending the last five years fighting for opposition forces in Unity region of South Sudan, the young men face a challenge reintegrating into their communities. This means the authorities need to ensure that they are given the support they need so they don't return to the armed forces, including providing access to education. Speaking on behalf of South Sudan's first vice president, his spokesperson says this is a necessary step in the peace process. What has happened over the last few years, we have to end it. We have to find it in our hearts to reconcile and forgive ourselves and unite ourselves as brothers of one country who liberated this country together. UNICEF estimates that 19,000 children are used by armed forces and armed groups in South Sudan. The National Disarmament, Demobilization and Reintegration Commission is working closely with UNICEF, the UN mission in South Sudan, and other partners to secure the release of the children and also support them. It is time now for a short break. We would like to remind you to visit our website, channelcity.com, for news and other programming around the clock. You can also find us at youtube.com forward slash channels web. So to come, recycling meets art in the boutique in Senegal, and women help each other create new ways to support their families. That story when we return.